Alright, give me a few minutes, a few seconds or minutes to share out the stream. Perhaps I'll come back to this. I don't think I'm ready for this just yet. I don't think I can do this now. Best to come back. I should come back to this another time. I don't think I'm ready for this just yet. I don't think I can do this now. Best to come back. I should come back to this another time. Alright. Alright, here we go. Report to Professor Hackett. I think I'm finally getting over having the flu. Rebellion. Ah, I believe we have some matters to discuss. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. A Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. Hi, Kyle. Welcome finished. to the stream. Come How are you see. doing? Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Seems crossed ones isn't as secret as it's believed to be. Might some kind soul help me? Oh yeah, I need to do this too. If only a new student would help me with my sad prediction. Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia's Gobstone. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. 
I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. <sighs> Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. I don't understand that question. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Oh, I'm doing a lot better than I was last week. Or this past week, I should say. Alright, now I'm doing a side mission to get Zenobia's gobstones. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Good news! We have a new training dummy on which you can practice spell combinations and you're up for round two of crossed ones when you're Rebellion. ready. Rebellion. Find me in the usual place. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. One mother is 
so excited for me to come home for the holidays. She's written to me nearly every day. Yeah. Yeah. Back this way. Keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's cobblestones. Revelia. I think I got the one that was there. Page. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's cobblestones. One more. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Can everyone hear me okay? Ready for another round? I think so. We shall see who shows up. There's no one in the school I'd be afraid to duel. I know, Sebastian. Can I use the training dummy? Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. 
You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of cross bombs all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. Gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance of winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Assignment's all finished. Red Urge defending Hogsmeade against Trove. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstone. Hello, Zenobia. I've found all of your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? No. I'm afraid I've decided to keep them. That'll teach you to stink up your classmates. What? You'd keep my prize collection for yourself. No, nope. I'm only teasing. Of course you can have them. Oh, thank Merlin. 
You had me worried there. Now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you, and that I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hecate. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say, I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. to incinerate yourself. Oh, let's not get it off my screen. There. Setting things ablaze is certainly cathartic, isn't it? Thank you for lurking, Chaos. Ah, I appreciate you, you being are. here. Come Professor Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hecate. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. man is exasperating. 
Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. It's not on your nose. Thought you'd want to know. I don't think a single spare a moment. I could use your help. What are you up to now? If someone gets struck by a cursed broom, we do hope it's you. Revenia. Lumos. In trouble, are we? Beat up to no good.
Chinese chomping cabinet. Not that I'm going to find out, mind you. Hmm. There you are. Sebastian, there you are. There you are. You promised me an explanation for what happened in the Three Broomsticks. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. You might need me. So... Why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... You want to show some initiative. Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean, I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. 
You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. You distract, I get the key. Understood. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Is someone there? Is that you, Peeves? wasn't so difficult after all. Now, to find that book. Ghost, don't let her see you. One second. Should be in the clip. There's no need for us to be skulking about. That was close. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else. Why do you think you'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No! We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. <laughs> Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed.
little friend out exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you... I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Hmm. Repair it. Thank you for lurking chaos. I appreciate you being here. That's it. Surprising. Guards at the ready. Wrong one. This one. Rebellion. 
This must be the way forward. But to where? Chest over here. Okay. Oops. Nearly there. Best keep my wits about me. Oh, excuse me. It's a book after all. Revelio. Another pencil. You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad, especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. 
As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganok. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? Rebellion. Well, to talk to Miss or Professor Fig again. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, 
I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were nope. after. No, this is all still part one. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted Part one section? is as a but Hufflepuff. How? Part two it, would be a different house. Fair enough. In fact, as well as part three and part section, four. As it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was oh, right. Yeah. And the second memory? In the second, they were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? I guess that makes sense. Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Revenia. There's supposed to be something here. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. one out of the way.
Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Of wand work. I take to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed wands. Other duelists had better beware. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of crossed wands ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Mm -hmm. I'm just pleased to have done as well as I did. And we're pleased to have such a gracious champion. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you. 
It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. The best duelist won, I suppose. Lost to a new student? Hmm, I didn't see that coming. You can't be B, can you? Shame it's over. I was just getting started. champion card. So those. and herbology class.
Rebellion. There's something in there. We have to rely on each other without having a Hello, Lenora. What are you looking at? Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Lumos, do come and find me. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. This one is this the easiest looks like the one. location from the painting. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Lenora? I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Amit, although he does tend to overexplain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! Is everything Side all right? Mission. Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. <laughs> that sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. I suppose I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Oh, goody. I'm going to have to use Appio to get to those books. Got it. I need four more to go. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her.
that last one hiding. Valley Revenia. Hmm. <sighs> Reading can be as magical. to take them back to Cressida. I'm getting hung up on the stairs. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief! Thank you! I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Regalia hat. And Cobalt Regalia.
was better. Growing pungent onion again. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bone. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> now, everyone, grip the mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knotgrass. Yes, Professor? Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Picked them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my starfish flowers. Niffler's fancy or roses? Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wigan Well potion, as you all should know from Professor well Sharp's done. class. Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wigan Weld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. 
The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there, but your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh, well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have, if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she? Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Look at that. They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. You were? I mean, of course, you're uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I attended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. Dipney leaves, fluxweed stem, not grass, break, lease, wing, pots. 
Sleeping Toadstool Caps, Mellow Sweet, and Moose. Nice. There you are. The cross one's jewel is to beat. I hate to see a creature get put down like that. But trolls have no business. Rebellion. Rebellion. I should investigate. to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? I have never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that trolley. 
Oops. And I shall never forget watching Serona stand up to Rookwood and Hollow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Hollow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? They must have come this way! Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid <laughs> just happened. I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. <sighs> Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know. And I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars. Dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. 
I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if the Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols? Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Mullet's beard! The flames of the papyrus sink. Incendio! I take it we can call that a success. We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go... Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. Oh, I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you? Oh, Ramrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, Bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. Let's go After what Ron Rock did to that back. goblin banker at Gringos, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Orn.
spiders. Past the ruins. I'm on the right track. More enemies to defeat. I have a brother who works at Green Guts. <laughs> <laughs> Encampment. This must be it. Looks as if there's more than one way to it. I will regret not joining us. <laughs> 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 for me this time. something. Now, to Freon's carts. Revelio. Quite an enchantment. The carts are returning to all. Thank <laughs> you. 
Revenia. Incendio. more times do I need to dodge? Oh, cool. Dodge them all. Exploration. Merlin Trials. Field Guide Pages. Combat. Dark wizards, goblins, spiders, mongols, blue beats. Collections. Mongol fur. not like the way that looks, so let's change it. Got a scarf. Thank you. 
Oh, that looks cool. Alrighty. Let's return to Arn. You're a deadly great spider. Sorry about that. I uh, bet. I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. The ones I faced were determined to make things difficult. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know... You've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. Another side mission. Might I beseech you for some assistance? Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes, my name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid! Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. 
but I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. You are still working. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. You didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. I will be right back.
I am back. Sorry about that. Quest. Completed six side relationship quests. Awesome. Thank you for still being here, Chaos. I appreciate it. Leprechaun gloves. Hmm. Mermaid mask. Goblin made helmet. have anything on our face. Or is it someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogwarts? Her attempt to collect would never allow them. It would make them look completely incompetent. It's good. Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do that. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do that. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. 
As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. I went the wrong way. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. I've enough to worry about collecting the ingredients he wants me to get. I'm afraid I can't help you. I understand. I'll sort something else out. Remember. Revenia. should not be that color, Miss McDowell. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. Wow. 
Where did everybody go? And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Then... Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Again. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. I wish he talked about it more. I brewed an Edoras potion as you asked, Professor. Glad you managed to stay on task. Not every class is so eventful. I saw Mr. Weasley speaking with you earlier. He can be quite persuasive. Glad you managed to resist. You've done well today. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wiganwell potion. Oh, you're the new student. I've heard much about you. Um, thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. A pleasure, truly. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiganwell potion on their first try. Well done. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. A portrait in our common room wants to talk to you. It's Eldritch Diggory. He used to be the Minister for Magic, I think. That was an interesting class. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. Well, for certain, you'd have helped. I'm glad I avoided trouble. Sharp certainly seemed upset with you. His bark's worse than his bite. I think deep down he respects my artistic okay. spirit. Okay, he's saying there's just one Sharp person in here. Rough, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions.
champion in a duel, didn't you? Brilliant. I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Rebellion. Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented the blue You wanted to see me, sir? Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself. So few students know who I am these days. Heldridge Diggory, former Minister for Magic and founder of the Aura Recruitment Program at your service. I believe you can help solve a decades old murder, thanks to that book you found, and, in particular, its missing pages. How do you know about the book? And the pages? We portraits here more than you might suspect, and... 
most of us can keep a secret. So, what say you? Surely a Hufflepuff such as yourself would be inclined to help seek long overdue justice. I'll do whatever I can. Wonderful. I am pleased to have been right about you. My great niece, Helen Thistlewood, can provide you with details. She's retired now, but was a skilled aura in her day. And the unsolved murder of which I speak was her case. I often visit my portrait in her home, in the nearby hamlet of Upper Hogsfield. Shall I tell her to expect you? I shall go and see her right away. Brilliant. With what I suspect is your knack for hard work and her keen mind, both mysteries may be solved sooner than you think. I shall see you there. Soon, I hope. Anyone can run a shop if they inherit it. I could use some gold. Quiet enough. 
This must be the place Minister Diggory mentioned. Helen lives around here somewhere. Ah, here you are. I'm pleased to see you took my advice. Madam Thistlewood, I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. He sent me to speak to you. I'm pleased you came. Uncle Eldridge believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very well. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, Anne was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. It was in large part due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of Anne, I think. That sounds terrible, but I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. And you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? If my great uncle is to be believed, yes. At least that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Anne insisted that Jackdaw had asked her to follow the map with him, but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Odd way to woo a girl. She swears she never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jackdaw's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Without Jackdaw's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was sent to Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's spurious testimony. I don't understand. What can I do to help? I believe Anne may have solved the first puzzle by now, but after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former self. She won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust, and she trusts no one. If you, a student with a connection to the pages, like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne, she might reveal new information. Oh, what a horrible story. Well, if you think I can help, I'll come with you. This is wonderful news. You are to be commended for your kindness and bravery. Fortunately, being a retired Aura has its benefits. We can apparate right to her. I've escorted ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. Never a student, I'll admit, but I will keep you safe. Very well. Let's go. Steady yourself. We'll apparate together. Don't worry. I've never splinched anyone. Do take care now, and tread lightly in that horrible place. We'll be there in but a moment.
That ought to keep them at bay for now. Though, be aware, you may feel a wave of despair. It will pass. Thank you for the warning. This really is a dismal place. But we'll be out of here soon enough. Now follow me. Mind your step. Oh, I never thought I'd see the inside of Azkaban for myself. Nasty Dementors. Not even I could convince the Ministry to send them off. There's no need for such oh, monsters. Well He's been here a lot longer than the rest of them. If I had my way, I'd cast Crucio on the lot of you! You don't scare me, young cur. They teach you so little of what you should know of. That witch you're with has a dark cloud over her. I can feel it. What is that I hear? Perhaps death in all its mercy oh, approaches. No one at school's going to believe this. Now remember, Anne has been here a long time. The Dementors aren't kind. Have patience and speak to her quietly and respectfully. Are you Anne? Who's there? Who speaks to me? Is that death finally come for me? I'm a student from Hogwarts. I found the book that you said would exonerate you. Ah, the book, the book. No one would look. None of the mages found the pages. Methinks the feckless knave meandered to his cave. My fate was surely sealed in Upper Hockey Field. Are you saying that the missing pages are in a cave near Upper Hogsfield? Hogs! Hogs! Field! Field! Ruins house! A vault concealed! A vault in some ruins near Upper Hogsfield. I suppose it can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look. Go find the pages from your book. Ellen. Ellen. No, you're here. Come in closer. Be a dear. What is it, Anne? You have what you need. I'll be all right once I get... But, Madame Thistlewood, I... Oh, all right. I'll find it. I'll find Jackdaw's cave. I'm not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Bardo Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by Dark Wizards he was. Pavelio. This looks intriguing. I met a girl once. She looked like an experience. Pretty though.
Ravenia. Chores aren't so bad. I don't mind the odd one without. Come on in and have a look around. Uh, no touching if you have sticky fingers. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. I expect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to... Whenever you're about. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rag's promise. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. This must be the place Anne told me about. Revelio. No one's been here for ages. In 
That's not it. Revenia. No. Hmm. How did you do this, Jackdaw? Oh, it's no wonder I never found that clue. Done something. No, that's not it. <laughs> you couldn't outwit me, Jackdaw. Now, where's the clue you left behind? Revelio. from Jackdaw. Anne never found it. So how did he die? Was she to blame at all? Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done, indeed. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? I heard you disappeared years ago. You have some explaining to do. I do? That was my puzzle you solved. What are you doing here? A retired aura, Helen Thistlewood, told me about a map you stole from Peeves, and then Anne told me about a cave. You saw Anne? Broke my heart. I had to go on without her. Probably best for her in the end. Dare I ask? How is she? She was imprisoned in Azkaban for your murder. I fear the Dementors have taken an irreversible toll on her. What? Azkaban? Oh, poor Anne. I had no idea. I thought she'd written me off. I've been traveling the world for years to mend my broken heart. I came back here only recently. On a whim. I must speak to the aura you mentioned and see how I can help Anne. I'm glad to hear it. Before you go, would I still be able to find the pages with the map Helen mentioned? I'm almost certain I dropped them in the cave the moment I was beheaded. They're bound to be mouldering away with the rest of me. Tell you what, meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you precisely where to find them. Thank you. I need to find those pages. To help a friend. I shall see you there.
Wait. Sorry, I had my mic muted and didn't even know it. I'm not tracking anything. Now to meet Jack Dawes Ghost. Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. It would take the patience of a Hufflepuff to track down these pages. Well said. Now, where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Inframuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it.
Simply stick to the path. Sharp eye out the The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Revelio. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Revelio. Intramuros. eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But <laughs> No risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jackdaw has led me. I wonder how big this place is. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. Revelio. I wonder if any of my spells will go through this.
Daniel. Rebellion. If I could summon that platform to me, I could likely get on it. Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? I thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot. There's no sign of him. Revenia. I was scared.
dangerous. I Door wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Moonstone. <gasps> <Yeah. gasps> it's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. skeleton in sight, but I may as well help myself to this. Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? very thorough in his search of this cave. Not a headless skeleton in sight, but I may as well help myself to this. Revelio. That's odd. I'd have thought Jack Dor would have been interested in this loot. There's no sign of him.
heavier. wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. It's almost complete. More spiders. This can't be what the head of it is. Superfly! Imagine how these spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. Revelio. Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? I'll need to look around for the symbol. Closer to Jackdaw's remains and those pages. There's Jackdaw looking dead. Here it is the map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm, is there something beyond this room?
That's unnerving. What's happening? Oh, now we know how he was beheaded. I've seen this before. In Gringos and the restricted section. Magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? Can it be? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And... Might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss, but first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm, that is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Talents. Nice. Sixteen. Oops. Core. I found the pages and the map chamber. 
Why would I need the book? Handy resource indeed. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fred will be back. I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Hmm. Perhaps I have an answer to distract myself with till he returns with the book. charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. playing class. Thornback Matriarch, Pensive Protector, did I miss one? Yep. Game 
Raiders. Great spine dead bug. Spider Slayer armor, officer's uniform, Spider Slayer Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, Fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. Oh, I, I want them the returned in one piece. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What have you? Hello. Nice day for a flight. Brilliant. Ah, the, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <laughs> Have a moment? 
day, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Hufflepuff like you might be interested in some high-flying fun? Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Plaintiffs and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. He's already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good fly. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Time to buy a broom. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Rebellion. Ah, wonderful. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. 
Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around, thank you. What are we looking for today? First. Nice doing business with you. That item is of the highest quality. I'll go with this one. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special prize. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now.
Velia. I told you not to go down that path. You make sense from losing pets to the custom. I lost the deer all around here. I know we're not supposed to go down there. I just thought... You could have got us in a lot of trouble. I'm very sorry, Father. Only she said I might earn a reward. Uh, instead, I just wasted our time. There you are. Simply pretended. Let's do the, the flight thingy.
Hufflepuff. Imelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Hufflepuff. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Ah, oh, success! <laughs> now that's more like it. You won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks.
Bugs need anyone still lurking in the shadows? Oh, you're back with something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Rays must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent and is wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm. That's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? What are we looking for today? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. It's always nice to see a familiar face. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help.
Oi! Can you help me? Try to summon the yeah. and drop some. And then the werewolves join the goblins and the uprights. Werewolves! Where were you? here and we'll pick up tomorrow where we left off today thanks everyone for being here and i'll see you all later bye for now